Hi guys, I'm really excited for this video. As you all know, when I did this one, I did a review of the deck. And the company that makes it is called Blue Angel. Can you see that? Maybe? Okay. Anyway, so I went to their website and I was looking and this, that, and the other. And uh, they had something for free. I don't even know now what it was, but it, that's beside the point. It didn't work. But in going to their website, I was just happening to look through what was coming up. And this, my guys, caught my eye. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see that? It just came today. It was just released on Saturday. <laughs> oh, my God. It is the Foxfire, the Kitsune Oracle. And I don't know if any of you know this, but right now, lately, for the last mm, six months, a year, Mr. Fox has been big in my world. All I've done is taken the plastic off. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, the artist is Lucy Cavendish. It is uh, 45 cards, and the guidebook's in there. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, Oh, okay, Lucy Cavendish did the meanings. The artwork is by Meredith Dillman, and it is also um, Blue Angel. See? I hope you can read that, and it's not blurry. Um, I'll read you the back. The art is just like, oh, it's the, the, anyway, I'll show you. So you can see what's on the back here, some of the art. It's got that oriental Japanese kind of art that I absolutely thrillingly love. So here we go. Let's open this, shall we? Because I haven't. <laughs> okay. So, of course, the blue, the clear paper. This was in the other deck. And yes, okay. It has the funny smell, too. Yeah, it does. I'm wondering if it's like glue or something they use. Now, this was just released Saturday, and I ordered it like Friday so I could have it as soon as it came out. So here's the book. There's the front. Oh, the back image is just beautiful. Look at that. See, there's like a fox in every single picture. So, oh, this is fresh. Okay, so this is brand spanking new. Um, it shows, as usual, what all the cards are, and then I'm, I'm assuming you look up the different meanings. And then it moves uh, the prelude and tells you a little bit about it. I would read, but I don't want to bore you. And I think if you are interested, you will buy it and read it. See, it talks about the, the Dear Seeker. Let me share with you the ways of the Kitsune. And then Inari and Kitsune. And if I remember correctly, Inari, yeah, as a Shinto deity that can move between many forms, feminine and masculine, elemental and humanoid. So there's that. And then it talks a little bit about the magical abilities, Foxfire, the transformational flame of the Kitsune. And then it talks about who you'll meet in within your cards. So listen to this. Dragons, that's a plus. Sacred trees, definitely. Uh, mer beings, shape shifting beings, kitsune, and that looks like that's it. Okay, it tells you how to shuffle, and that's I'm not even gonna go there because that's everybody's own thing. So let's have a look at these, shall we? I'm so excited. Okay, uh, I may not show you all of them because we'd probably be here a while. Oh, look, there is a band around the now that's kind of different. I haven't actually had a deck banded closed before. Uh, oh, it's sticky, too. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that just pops right off. So there's no border on these. There's no gilt edges, but I'm okay with that. Um, here is the back. They all, yep, they're all the same. It's just the fox. Isn't that awesome? Okay, and then, oh. Okay, I'm already in love with these. Now, these are in order, so they're not alphabetized, but they're numbered. So, like, this is the richness within. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, I can't even right now. It's just beautiful, you know? She's in her kimono, and there's, like, foxes around, and a baby in her lap. 
and the temple in the background that's really nice look at that and the oranges and the reds and the colors oh. okay and then and then number two is acceptance look at that oh he's just that's you know that look see I like that okay and then three is tea ceremony and if you all know me I love tea so that see and he's it becomes its own thing you know it's a sacred ritual if done right and I'm not gonna tell you how to do it because that's open to your own interpretation of what's right because we all do things a little differently okay and then four is call forth the waves oh look at that I'm just loving on that the ocean and the oh that is gorgeous see now there isn't a fox in that one that I see right at the moment nope there's just her and her beautiful oh and she kind of has a tail look she might be kind of merman mermaid more person to be more see that oh that is gorgeous okay and then we have the golden moment and he's got a light. I'm, I'm assuming that's like twilight because he's got one of those lamps. And look at that. The colors are just beautiful. I love the peak. Isn't that just awesome? That's that time when, when it's changing. Okay. And then we have rare knowledge. Ooh. Wow. Look at this. Oh, wow. I think if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's no it is that's the front of the that's the front of the box that's the image from the box see and it is rare knowledge look at that that fox's face i just love that okay and then seven is past lives Ooh, and i really like this look a fox with an umbrella all dressed up it's almost victorian oh i like that look at that and those colors and you wouldn't think that the oranges and the reds with purple would work but Oh, this lady that did the art is amazing. Ooh, okay, the gift of connection. This is eight. Look at that. And here the color palette changes, and it's some blues and some pretty greens and pinks. Oh, I just love that. The gift of connection. Mm, right. See? Okay, nine is hope. Oh, I really like this. Look. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's in a kimono with the paper umbrella. Oh, I love that. And the colors. Oh, that's just such art. This is the kind of thing that makes me happy. Okay, tin is grace. Ooh. And I think you'll appreciate this, too. It's got one of the... I think that's a heron. If I'm wrong, tell me, please. But it's there, and it's beautiful. Look at that. All in, like, purples and blacks and... Ah... I am really loving this. Okay, so 11 is Sunlight After Darkness. Ooh, cherry blossoms. You all know I like cherry blossoms. Look at that. And I'm not going to interpret any of these cards. I'm going to leave that to those that want them and, and are interested. Ooh, be still a while. 12, this is a good one for me. I really feel this card because, you know, with life and everything, we're always on the go, go, go. And so be still a while is a really deep, you know, that's got a good message there. And you can see that that's just really pretty. It's more of a white fox in that one, see? And then Fleeting Beauty. Oh, this is a nice. See, look at that. All pinks again. I just like the first style of art and her people, you know? And then here it is. Oh, Mr. Dragon, the Awakening. Look at that. It's a gold dragon. I really like that. And then we're up to 15, and it's the Sentinel. Oh, these are just in this one. Oh, these are, I'm in love. Look at this. Look at this. See? And you all know what the Sentinel is, so. Isn't that gorgeous? And shades of purples and some red in there. And No, maybe not. No red. Sorry. Oh, and we have another dragon. Time to restore. Look at that. It's like a silver lavender lilac -y. oh on a beautiful background I just I love these that's 16 and then 17 is growth oh look at that isn't that beautiful all the pretty greens in that oh my goodness oh my goodness look 
Okay, and then 18 is, oh, I love this too, to dance with joy. Look at that. She's just so light and happy. And the fox is there. Ah, there's actually several. And they're in the tree too, see? And it looks like it might be fall or... Yeah. The creation of light. Ooh, I think you guys will like this. Look at this. Look at those flowers, right? I am really, really, really liking this. And I can't wait to work with it. 20 is the garden of the night. Whoa. Okay. Look at that. Full moon and all. Oh, my God. These just speak to me on so many levels, you know? Look at that. That is some gorgeous art. The full moon in the background. And the kimono. And the rocks. Ah. And she's on her knees, just kind of, you know, deep in thought. Okay. Watch and listen carefully. Now this, I really, really like. Look at her ears. She's embodying the fox there. They are clever and they do hide and watch a lot. And I just love that outfit with the roses. Or, well, no, they're not. I don't know what the flower that is, but I do love it. I apologize. That is gorgeous. Okay, and 22 is immortality. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, look at that, the pinks. And is it cherry blossoms again before I, yeah, this one is cherry blossoms. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my goodness. There isn't a fox in that one either, but there's a bird, and look, all on the branch there with her. Talking about kind of what we leave behind, I think. Born with a gift. Oh, nice. Look at this. Isn't she beautiful? A redhead with blue eyes on that, oh, that background. These are just, yeah. I'm really, really, really liking them. This one is 23. So we're halfway. Let's see, I'm 12 minutes in. Oh, maybe I will just go the rest of the way. Okay, I'll show you them all. Why not, right? This is delightful. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Look, she has antlers, and the color scheme on that is just gorgeous. And that one is called Delight. Oh, and she's playing a flute. Look, see? Can you see that? Yeah, isn't that awesome? And then, okay, 25, make a wish. Oh, I like this. Look at this, butterflies. That is just all those colors and the blues and the greens. The artist on this just, wow. I am really, really, really loving this deck. Tending the future and she has a fox. Look at that gown. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just, I'm look at that in the green and the fox against it and her hair. Mmm. These are beautiful. Okay. 27, whoops, is empowerment and she is part koi this is really cool look at that empowerment so she's also got the shell and like a little bit of fishtail so there again is the transformation but it's empowerment yep okay and then 28 is transcendent transcendence <laughs> look at that fox and look at that oh that is so cool just makes you want to like think you know in deep I really like that and then we have rituals and offerings oh I'm loving on this look at this there's willow wisps or wisps what do they call them orbs or no maybe they're hanging they're hanging I'm not sure they look like willow wisps and the foxes and the women are leaving offerings out there isn't that gorgeous all in shades of lavender and eggplant and lilac and I just love this. This art is just wow. Okay, and this one is Willing Entanglement, and it's in black and white. Wow, and the moon. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. I think that one's about learning and growing. Willing Entanglement. And then A Time to Walk Alone. Boy, don't we all know this kind of sort of? Look at that. She's wearing a witch's hat. I think that's really kind of cool and she's alone and there's a kind of a almost an air of sadness I don't know if you can see that maybe that's just me but there's almost an air of maybe it's the loneliness but a time to walk alone okay 32 find a place to withdraw to oh I like that 
That reminds me of the one artist that did the fairies. Um, I want to say Amy Brown, but that may not be right. But there's a lady that does art of fairies, and she does something really similar. That is just gorgeous. Look at all the greens and the browns. Okay. Leave behind what is no longer you. Oh, wow. Look at this. I love her gown and the color scheme and it makes utter sense you know because we all change and grow as life moves forward beauty of age oh I like this one too look how pretty that is wow and that's a deep message beauty of age and she's an elf so that's kind of cool or a fairy because she has wings see I missed that she totally has wings so that's a fairy and then this one is the noble one. Nice. Talk about being better. Look at her kimono. Isn't that gorgeous in the art style? I love that. Okay, 36. Memories of the Forgotten Self. Look at this. Oh, these are just gorgeous. I can't believe how good she did. This is like one of my favorite decks now. Sharing your wisdom is 37. Oh, and there's a baby dragon. Look at that. Look. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I'd almost squee. That is just too cute, you know? And butterflies and dragonflies. And then bringer of change. Ooh, we have a, a we have a manfe. I'm impressed. Look at that. And wings. Bringer of change. Hmm, and he's got butterflies and they're alighting on him. So that's really, oh, he might be butterfly rather than, is that a, I don't know. Male butterflies. Male fairies, I'm not sure. I like it. Beneath the surface, and here is the mermaid. Of course there is one in the ocean. Look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, how she's riding up out of the waves. I love that. Beneath the surface, this talks for going deep. I really, really like that. What's in the depth, right? Right. Okay, threefold. No, threshold, sorry, threshold. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this lady's art is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's just, ah. Uh. Okay, that is threshold. 41 is threefold protection. Oh, very nice. Look at this. Another mermaid. I'm really, I'm really, really, and she's holding a spear, I do believe. Yeah, the Triton. Remember in Little Mermaid? Wasn't that the Triton? The three-pronged? Yeah, I think that's a Triton. And then Shadow Dancer. Oh, I like this. She's like split in two. It's like dark and light. See, look at her hair on one side and look at the other. Oh, these are just gorgeous. You don't even know. I'm just... Wow, and then 43, we're almost there, is Foxfire, and it's the fox. Oh, I love this. Look, a fox in a kimono. That is so gorgeous. I'm just, wow. I love that. Okay, follow the signs is 44. And she's gorgeous, too, and she's drawing fire out of her hand, her, you know, controlling flame there. That is so awesome, and it's follow the signs. Oh, these are going to go deep. I can see that already. I'm really loving this. And 45 is coming of age. Look at that. Oh, these are amazing. So there you have it. The, probably one of the best decks I've seen yet. I just, I love this imagery. I really, they nailed this one out of the box. This was just released Saturday. I ordered it like Friday, literally, or maybe even, no, it wasn't Saturday. I did Friday. And because they said it would be out on the day it was released. But because it was released on a Saturday, there's no way they could get it here. Uh, but it came today. Amazon did really good. It's only like $23.95 maybe. So, once again, there's the beautiful box. The artist is Meredith Dillman. And the lady that did the cards is Lucy Cavendish. It is the Kitsune Oracle Foxfire, and I love this deck. So there you have it. Um, if you like it, it's on Amazon and probably at Blue Angel Publishing. There's their, um, if you can see that. I was looking to see, oh, it was designed in Australia. Uh, it's www.blueangelonline.com. So 
If you don't find it on Amazon, that's where I find it. But you can go to their website and go from there. Okay, well, I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to go play with this now. So thanks for watching. Bye.